Hi everyone, so today I'm going to try again to explain the tree sequence in very very layman terms basically into kindergartners because uh, as you know I already have a few videos on trying to explain tree 3 but that was a few years ago and I think I didn't do my best to explain it the most clear, uh, clear way as possible so that's why I'm gonna make it one more time and um, but the main reason is that I have a lot of questions and comments asking why 3, 2 equals to 3. A lot of question, uh, uh, a lot of people ask that. I'm a little bit surprised they're not asking about 3, 3. I mean, some people ask about 3, 3, why is it so big? Um, and why some trees is not considered to be contained in the next one. But a lot of people actually ask why 3, 2 is 3. They're asking why is it not 2 or why is it not 4, 5, 6 or even a very big number. So anyway, let's get started. So what is the tree sequence? So tree sequence, the tree in, we wrote it, we write it this way. It actually represents the longest game you can play with n number of colors of seeds. So let's say tree one, you can use one color, not more than one. And tree two, you can use two colors. Tree three, you can use three colors. Tree four, you can use four colors and so on. So there are two very simple rules over here. So the first rule is that the nth tree can only have at most n number of nodes. So what is a node? Node basically it means some people say it's a dot or a C. So this would be a node over here. This one dot over here, we call that a node. So the nth tree can have can only have at most n number of nodes. So let's say the let's say the first tree, of course you can only have one node. The second tree, let's say in tree n, you can only have two nodes the most. So you can have either one or two, but no more than two. For the third tree in tree n, you can have at most three nodes. So you can use one, two, or three. You cannot have more than three. So that's the first rule over here. And the second rule is that all previous n minus one trees should not be embeddable within the n tree. So basically this word, another way to explain to you is contain. So the previous trees cannot be contained in the next tree. That's the simple explanation. So I'm going to show you a few examples about the second rule over here. So the first one is blue, red, yellow. And um, let's say this is tree n. And this is the you can say this is the n minus one tree, this is the n tree, so this is the previous, this is the next one, and the next tree is blue, red, yellow, blue. So my question to you is that does this tree contain in this tree? So spend two to three seconds to think about that or pause the video. So actually this tree, it does contain in this tree. And I think this one is pretty straightforward. Uh, first of all, you try to find the nearest common ancestor, so which is this yellow node over here. So this blue, red, the nearest common ancestor is this yellow. And for this tree over here, the nearest common ancestor for this blue, red is this yellow. So that means these two trees, they share the nearest common ancestor, at least for these two nodes over here. They're, Blue and red and blue and red, they both share the yellow node as the nearest common ancestor. So even though there's a blue over here, it doesn't matter. The nearest common ancestor is the same. So basically this part is contained in this part. It's pretty straightforward, pretty obvious. So this is not allowed since this tree is contained in this tree. That's the second rule. So the next example over here. This is blue, blue, red. This is blue, red, yellow, blue. So does this tree contain in this tree over here? So again, spend two to three seconds to think about that. The answer is no. Why? Um, because again, you have to look at the nearest common ancestor between these two uh, nodes over here. So blue, red, and here again, you look at the blue, red over here. The nearest common ancestor for this tree is this blue over here. However, the nearest common ancestor of 
this blue and red is yellow. They don't share the nearest common ancestor, even though there's a blue here, but this is not the nearest. This is a common ancestor, but not the nearest. So that's why this tree does not contain in this tree. I think uh, this is again one of the more common question in my previous videos in the comment section but again this does not include here because the nearest common ancestor is different so the third example over here this one is blue blue red and this one is blue yellow yellow blue red yellow so does this tree contain in this tree again spend two to three seconds to think about that and the answer is yes so why is it yes? So why this tree is contained in here? Again, same rule, same explanation. You have to look at the nearest common ancestor of these two nodes over here. So this is blue, red, and in this tree, the blue, red is over here. What is the nearest common ancestor of these two? Well, this is very clear. Is this blue over here? So this blue is the common ancestor, nearest common ancestor of these two over here and what about here? So the nearest common ancestor between these and this is this blue. And as you can see, these two are the same. So therefore this tree is contained in this tree, even though at first it may not look obvious because well, this, this yellow is not an ancestor of this one. So this one does not count. Same for this one. This yellow is not a ancestor of this one. So the nearest common ancestor between this and this is this one. So they are the same. So therefore this tree is contained in this one. Hopefully this will clear some of your questions, but let's look at finally, what is the answer? What is the longest game you can play for tree one and tree two? So for tree one, again, you can look back at the rules over here. So tree one, since n here is one, that means you can only use one color. You cannot use more than one color. So this is pretty easy. Basically, um, you start with one node because again, that's the first rule. The nth tree, in this case, the first tree, you can only have at most n nodes. So the first tree can only have one node. That's it, you cannot have two. That's, I think some people asked in the previous, previous video again, why you cannot start with 100 red dots for tree one? Well, because of the first rule. Um, because the first tree, this one, you, of course you used to start with the first one, right? The first tree can only have one node. So therefore tree one is one. You can only put one color. So let's say, for example, you pick red seed, red dot, and that's the end of your game. Because the next one, you must use you must use red because you can only use one color. So the next one, the second tree, you can only have either one or two nodes. Because of the first rule over here, you can have at most n number of nodes. So the second tree, you can have at most two nodes. So the next one will be either one red or two red. And in either case, this will contain in the second one because one red will contain in the next red or the next two red. So that's it, tree one equals one. I think that's pretty straightforward. What about tree two? Tree two, a lot of people ask about that. What's the longest game you can play with tree two, with two colors? So first, again, you start with one node because that's your first tree. You can only have one node. That's why you, you just pick any color in this case because this is your first tree. So let's, for example, again, you pick red. So the first tree is one red. Okay, what about the second tree? The second tree, you can basically, you cannot pick red anymore because if you use red, this must contain in the second tree. So basically you cannot use red anymore. And the second tree, you can have either one note or two notes because at most you can only have two notes for the second tree. You cannot start with a hundred notes. Again, I explained already. A lot of people ask about that. I guess they didn't pay attention. And um, so you cannot use red anymore. So you, let's say blue, you pick blue. So you can either use one blue or two blue. Let's say one blue. What, what happens if you use one blue? If you use one blue, then your game ends at two. So three, two equals two in this case. Uh, because the third tree, since you can only use two colors, red or blue, the third tree, you must use either red or blue. And either way, the third tree uh, will be part of the first and the second one. Because let's say you, you pick one red, of course, you cannot do that. One blue, again, you cannot do that. Um, doesn't matter how many you use, one, two, or three, you can only use red or blue, so your game ends at two. However, there's a longer game, that's why three, two is equal to three, is this is your answer over here. This is the three, 
over here is the first one again you use red one red note the second tree you use you pick blue so two blue instead of one blue this will give you one extra tree why because if you use two blue over here again you can use either one or two notes for your second tree so the third tree you can use either one two or three notes and obviously you cannot use red anymore because any red you put in the third one will this will contain in that one however you can actually put one blue over here um, again you cannot have more than three you can use one either one two or three and this tree does not contain in this one why because actually the whole thing has to be contained in the next one not just one of them i mean i show you already otherwise all of these will be invalid so the whole thing does not contain in here because there's only one here there's two here so this does not contain in this one however the reverse is true so this one is contained in here but uh, that's not the case here because the previous tree cannot be contained in the next one so this is allowed Therefore, the longest game you can play with 3, 2 is 3. Therefore, 3, 2 equals to 3. Hopefully, you get it right now. Um, and uh, 3, 3, I'm not going to tell you. I mean, it's, 3, 3 is very, very big. It's much, much, much bigger than even Graham's number. Uh, you can look it online yourself. Um, how big is 3, 3? I mean, this is one of the examples I showed you before I check already. This is actually a correct picture. Um, yeah, the focus is not good. But anyway, the previous tree is not contained in the next one for all of them. Um, so this is one way you can start or try to do tree three. And then this is, of course, another one from number file. I, ch I check again, the previous tree does not contain in the next one. And this is another way you can do tree three. But anyway, this is my attempt on trying to explain the tree sequence to kindergartners. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.